Hello students, I hope all are fine and good. Again I am here to teach you EVS of class 1, chapter 7, shelter, part 1, page number 43 and 44. And in our today's class, we are going to discuss about these topics. 1. Need for a house. 2. Types of houses. So, come to your book, page number 43, chapter 7, Shelter. I live in my house. I live with my brothers and sisters. There are different kinds of houses in my neighborhood. Some are big, some are small. So, this is the picture of some houses. Some houses are big and some houses are small. So, students... All living things need a shelter to protect themselves from cold, heat and rain. We live as a family in our homes. The family members rest and live together in the comfort of their home or shelter. So student, my house looks like this. Draw the picture of your house here. It is your homework. Now go to the next page, page number 44, need for a house. A house protects us from heat, cold, storm and rain. It also protects us from robbers and wild animals. So students, we need a house to live in. A house where we live is in is our home. Our home protects us from many things and dangers. We are safe in our home. Early humans did not have any home. They used to live in caves and on trees. Later, they started to build the home with the help of wood, straws, stones, and mud etc. Today humans live in different kinds of houses. So here is here is the types of here are some types of houses. One kacha houses. Kacha houses are not strong. They are made of mud, wood, straw and leaves. Hut is a kacha house. So student, kacha house. These are made of straw and mud. Huts and houses in village are kacha houses. Next is pakka houses. Pakka houses are strong. They are made of bricks, cement, iron, glass, steel and wood. Bungalow is a pakka house. So students, such a house is made of brick, steel and cement. We find pakka houses and cement are called pakka houses. We find pakka houses in cities, bungalows and flats in apartment blocks are pakka houses. So students, this is the end of our today's class. I hope you understood that chapter nicely. We will continue the same chapter in the next class. Thank you.